Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity skills integration challenge. Coming to addressing table, here we can see uh, this addressing table is incomplete. Uh, we have to uh, fill this uh, default gateway of these devices manager A, accounting.pka, manager B, and website.pka. So we have to get this default gateway. Coming to the scenario here, uh, your company has won a contract to set up a small network for a restaurant owner. There are two restaurants uh, near each other and they all share one connection. The equipment and cabling is installed and the network administrator has uh, designed the implementation plan. Your job is to implement the rest of the addressing scheme according to the abbreviated addressing table and to verify connectivity. Coming to the requirements, complete the addressing table documentation, configure R1 with IPv4 and IPv6 addressing, configure S1 with IPv4 addressing, S2 is already configured, configure manager A with IPv4 and IPv6 addressing, the rest of the clients are already configured, verify connectivity, all clients should be able to ping each other and access the websites on accounting.pka and website.pka so suggested scoring uh, packet tracer scores 80 points completing the addressing table is worth 20 points all right coming to the topology here we can see the network uh, and the entity devices manager a and accounting.pka this network is uh, connected to uh, this interface here we can see gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, on the router r1 so obviously the default gateway for these devices will be the ip address of uh, this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 uh, depends on the uh, version of the ip address uh, either ipv4 or ipv6 according to that we have to set here and coming to this network we can see this network is connected to this interface that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 on the router r1 so obviously the default gateway for these devices will be the ip address of this interface ipv4 or ipv6 whatever it is according to that we have to set here first of all we will configure the router r1 enable configure terminal we are going to the interface uh, it's gigabit ethernet gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to set the ip address and this subnet mask 255.255.255.192 we will verify in our addressing table here we can see that Now we are going to give no shot command. Now we are going to set IPv6 address for this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 according to our addressing table. So IPv6 address and here is our address. Right. Now we are going to set a link local address for this interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 ipv6 address here is the address link local now we will set ip address for the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 so coming to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 ip address here is our ipv4 address and now submit to mask 255.255.255.192 now we will give no shot command now we will set ipv6 address ipv6 address and here is our ipv6 address now we are going to set a link local address for the interface gigabit ethernet uh, 0 slash 1 IPv6 address, here is the link local address, link local. Now we are going to configure S1 with IPv4 addressing. So here we can see the IP address of the device S1. 
we are going to set for the interface uh, VLAN 1 and here we can see the IP address 172.16.10.62 and here is the subnet mask and the default gateway coming to the switch s1 yes, cli enable configure terminal we are going to the interface vlan 1 here we are going to set the ip address here is the address now we are going to give the subnet mask 255.255.255.192 and no shut command also we have to set the default gateway IP default gateway it's 172.16.10.1 now we are going to set IP address for the devices uh, configure manager A with IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. The rest of the clients are already configured. So only this manager A we have to configure. So coming to manager A, desktop, IP configuration. Here we can see the address. Manager A 172.16.10.3 and here we can see the subnet mask. The default gateway, obviously, it is connected to uh, this uh, router R1 to this interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. So the IP address of that interface will be the default gateway. Here we can see that. We have to change the subnet to mask to 55.192. And uh, we have to set the default gateway as 172.16.10.1. Now we are going to set the DNS server for this IPv4. So uh, we have to get the uh, DNS server address. Uh, here we can see the server website.pka. Here the service uh, DNS is uh, uh, DNS service is on. So we have to get the IP address of this server. Here we can see that. Here is the address. So we are going to add it to our manager A. Eh? As the DNS server address right now we are going to set IPv6 address for this device manager a here we can see the address 2001 colon db8 colon cafe colon 1 double colon 3 slash 64 and here we have to find the default gateway for this IPv6 address so obviously it will be the link local address fe80 double colon 1 also, we have to set uh, IPv6 at DNS server. So here we can see that website.pka. It's 2001 colon db8 colon cafe colon 2 double colon 2. We are going to set that. We will copy this address so that it will be more faster. Coming to manager A. IP address. And uh, prefix is 64. Now we will come to IPv6 gateway. It's a FE80 double colon 1. And here is a IPv6 DNS server. So it's 2001 colon DB8 colon CAFE colon 2 double colon 2. Now we are going to verify the connectivity. So we will ping from manager A to accounting.pka. So we will get the IP address of accounting.pka. Right, coming to manager A, command prompt. Here we are going to give the ping command. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will ping to manager B, IPv4 address. Ping to manager B, here is the address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will ping to website.pka. Yes, we are getting the replay. 
now we will ping to ipv6 address we will get the ipv6 address of accounting.pka ping to accounting yes you are getting the replay now we will try to manage our b here is ipv6 address Ping to manage or be IPv6 address. Yes, we are getting the replay. And finally, we will ping to website.pka. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will try to access uh, this web pages accounting.pka and website.pka. So coming to manager a web browser, here we are going to give the URL accounting.pka. Yes, we are getting the web page and now we will try the other one that's website.pka. Yes, we are getting the web page through your restaurant's website. Well, that's all in this Packet Tracer activity skills integration challenge. Here we can see the completion status 80 out of 80. Friends, if you have any doubt in this Packet Tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into our mail. Thank you.